Hello Taurus, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at the energies between you and this person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. And we'll also look at how you feel about each other. So let's jump right in. Spirit angels, guides. What messages do you have for Taurus? Regarding this person they're thinking about or connecting with. At this time, what does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know about this person, this connection? Okay, I haven't asked my question yet. <laughs> Let's look at the mutual energies between you and this other person. Spirit, what are the mutual energies? Okay, oh my god, okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put these back yeah. and we'll take these. Okay. So we have the six of wands and the two of swords. What else do we need to know? Oh my gosh. Don't know what's going on with my deck. He just really wants to talk today. What else do we need to know about this connection? But I almost feel like it's like trying to fall out of my hands a little bit. <laughs> Although my hands are already very small, so most tarot decks are like too big for me anyway. But anyways, um, mutual energies. Yeah, okay. So seven of cups, two of swords. Someone's unsure about a decision that they have to make here. Um, they're just having doubts or, you know, kind of uncertainty about what it is that they need to do, choose, undecided energy. And then we have the six of wands, which is all about success, recognition, victory. Um, I get the sense that one of you in this connection wants this to work, but there's like this layer of uncertainty about the connection as a whole, maybe about how the other person feels, maybe if there is a future here, period, uh, what someone's intentions are. Um, you know, will this be the same old, same old, or Will there be something different about this connection? Let's get some energy oracles out here. Tell us more, Spare, about this energy for Taurus. Tell us more about this energy. The energy between Taurus and this person that's thinking or feeling about them. Falling leaves. Changes transition time. Time changes everything. Okay. What else? What else do we need to know? Coming together. Reunion destiny meeting. Destiny has brought you together. I think someone's hoping that time will bring you, like in, in time, you will come together with this person. Reaching out take the initiative to reach out. So I feel like this is a situation, Taurus, where someone's hoping that now that time has passed or if enough time passes, there is a reunion at the end of all of that. You know, that they will have a coming together with you. Now someone could be taking the initiative to reach out here um, and start this through communication. But let's look at your individual energies. I'm gonna ask Spirit for your energy specifically, and then I'll move on to your person's energy, uh, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Spirit, tell me about Taurus. What is Taurus thinking, feeling when it comes to this person or this connection? What is Taurus thinking, feeling when it comes to this person? Page of Cups. So Taurus, I feel like, okay, the word I'm hearing is soft spot, okay? I'm getting that you have a soft spot for this person or some tender feelings um, towards this person. Now the Page of Cups is not like this overwhelming emotion. It's not like super serious emotions, but there are some emotions there. Tell me more about Taurus. This could also be somebody um, coming to you to express 
themselves as a page of cups maybe you're trying to decide something about that queen of swords okay so aquarius libra gemini energy there and then we have the knight of swords at the bottom of the deck this could very well be what someone um communicates to you queen of swords could be you page of cups could be them or this person's coming to you as a page of cups but being very honest and direct with you you could also flip that Taurus. Maybe you're the one that wants to reach out here. Maybe you're the one that wants to be honest with someone else and maybe apologize or share your feelings with someone else. Um, so I definitely feel this is about communication. Maybe someone here is undecided about communicating. Actually, let's see. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Ten of Cups. I think that this is just someone, <clears throat> excuse me. I think this is just someone that is wondering about the outcome of something, that success energy. Well, is this possible? Is this attainable? How do I get it? Tell me about this Two of Swords. Tell me about the two of swords three of wands yeah should i wait a little bit longer is now the right time hesitating waiting for the right time okay tell me about this page of cups and the queen of swords so i feel like there's someone that's um whatever this decision is about i feel is about someone's moves their next moves and if that will be successful why is the page of cups here with the queen of swords the five of wands so this could be um a situation where maybe there is conflict or someone wants to talk about a past conflict maybe someone doesn't want to fight anymore maybe they want to you know share their feelings about whatever this was some of you i feel like this person is scared to talk to you because they think it'll end up in an argument. Taurus, maybe um, some of you could have said something that you regret. Um, maybe you were too harsh or have something to that you feel you need to apologize for. I see that as well. Keep in mind, this is a collective reading. So I'm reading for many Taurus um, watchers out there. So take what resonates for you. Tell me about Taurus. What is their energy in this connection? What is their energy in this connection? Slaying a dragon, triumph, enemies, achievement. Taurus, I feel like you might be the one that is thinking about overcoming a challenge first and, and having success. It's like you're wondering if this will work out in the end. Once upon a dream, I know you, that gleam in your eyes is so familiar a gleam. Past lovers, soulmates coming together. So this could be somebody that you have a connection with already. You know them already, you have a connection. Um, but I feel like you are wondering if you will be coming together with them. Coming together has shown up twice. Bottom of the deck is sleeping curse, inaction, silence, dormancy. So there maybe there has not been a lot of communicating or action on either side here. Oops. What else? What else are you thinking about this person? Now, slaying a dragon is here, so I feel like there's some obstacle that needs to be overcome. Maybe whatever happened in the past, whatever argument this was, or conflict. But some of you, you know, I feel like there's two groups of Taurus. The more that I do this, like I find out more about this situation, the more it's like I'm starting to categorize it into two things. Um, in group one, I feel like there has been 
some sort of situation that has taken place in the past that you are still thinking about. You still have a soft spot for this person and you're wondering if you have a future with this person, but deep down you're hoping that you come together with this person, that you talk this out, that you've resolved this. And I feel like some of you, if you are in that group, you're waiting for this person to reach out to you. The other group of Taurus, I feel like this is your person that's feeling that way, that wants to talk to you, wants to reach out, wants to fix something. But maybe they're scared because they don't want more problems. There's an there's like a hesitation on this person's part. Like they're hesitating, they're waiting. Tell me about Taurus. Waiting around. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like you might be waiting around for this person to make a move. Please wait for me just a little bit longer at the bottom of the deck. Maybe they asked you to wait for them. Maybe there's a reason you're waiting. Maybe there's another obstacle that is in the way here that you need to discuss. Tell me about this other person, this person that Taurus is, has, or will be dealing with spirit. What do we need to know about their energies? Their energies towards Taurus. King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy there. What else do we need to know? The star. Aquarius energy. I feel like they want to heal something. They have the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. I feel like you're both mirroring each other in a way. Or you're thinking about them doing this. And that's why it's coming out in your energy. But I feel like there's um, expressing feelings is very important. But not just expressing feelings. Healing. Healing something. With the star. Having a sense of renewal. Now the King of Pentacles for me as a reader. They tend to already have responsibilities, obligations. Are busy. Business oriented. Financially stable. Or doing very well financially. Um, sometimes they're already married. So I wonder if that's kind of the issue here is that this person is not really available. Tell me about the star. Tell me about the star. The devil, Capricorn energy. I feel like this person wants to heal a situation that really, it turned badly or it ended badly. Um, it took a wrong turn somewhere. They might apologize for getting themselves into a mess or for whatever situation happened between you. Can you tell me more about this other person? What are their energies? Wicked stepsister. Jealousy, drama, interference. So there could have been some sort of interference in the form of another person here. Some sort of drama. I mean, the Five of Wands is here. That sometimes can be like the drama card. So there could have been some interference. Someone may have gotten in between you here. It does not necessarily have to be like a romantic partner. It could be a family member, a friend, a boss, a job. Horse, action, motivation, energy. Hmm. I feel like this person wants to take action. Yeah, once upon a time is at the bottom of the deck, which is all about beginnings. So I feel like this person wants to take action towards you, Taurus. I feel like they might be the one that reaches out here. And it's like you're waiting for that to happen. You're waiting for them to reach out to you. Because I think you both want to fix this, whatever this situation is. Okay, we have Love Everlasting, one of my favorite cards in this deck. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards Taurus? I should have told you how I felt when I had the chance. Okay? 
So maybe they've been hesitating on communicating how they feel and maybe they have waited a little bit too long here. They haven't told you the truth about their feelings. I wish I could tell you how I feel. So Taurus, I feel like this situation here is that you know that this person wants to tell you something. You know that this person wants to address something or something needs to be addressed in order for this connection to be successful. But I don't think this person has pulled that trigger. I don't think they've made that move. Departure is at the bottom of the deck. So maybe this person left in the past. Maybe you left this connection. There's been some sort of distance or separation here. And there's many ways, I mean, obviously the tarot cannot tell me all the specifics of a situation. So there's many ways to interpret what kind of conflict this is. I feel like there was some sort of influence or interference that got in the way here of this connection. I think time has passed since that happened. And I think that you are both thinking about how to come together, how to fix this, but neither of you have made that first move. I think you're both kind of in this like, is this even like a possibility? Is this like something that I can make happen? Should I be the one that reaches out first? You're both thinking that way. And this devil energy, it could be that your person's in a current situation that's not so great that might keep them from coming forward. Maybe they've been asking you to wait for them to deal with the situation before they come forward. Let me know if that resonates for you in the comments. But I feel like there's definitely an obstacle here. This, the dragon needs to be slayed. <laughs> the obstacle needs to be dealt with. Action needs to be taken. What I, tell, what I can tell you is that your person's thinking about it at this time. And hopefully they reach out because that's what they're thinking about doing. I just don't see it in their energy right now. It's more like, I wish I could tell you. I want to tell you, <laughs> but will you? That's the difference there. 